Hey guys, um, this video is going to be about <clears throat> um, adjusting the starting uh, values for your locomotive on DCC. Um, obviously you're going to need a train, a DCC system, and a DCC decoder. And from there, pretty much the sky's the limit. So um, let's get to it. In the previous video, I went through with you guys, um, what was it, Make adjusting the uh, momentums and I do like how I have those set on some of my other locomotives like my Adern Genesis SD7 AC over here over there um, I have those set on 10 and 10 is a really good value to have in there uh, between 5 and 10 they're both great um, obviously you don't want them the deceleration to be too slow unless in case there's a problem because uh, you want to stop it as quick as you can if there would be a problem uh, like a derailment or something like that, you don't want to wait, you know, 30 seconds for the thing to stop. But uh, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. That's the old video. Uh, basically, the most important thing that that old video has that will be important is um, first off, reading the directions in the decoder manual. And you might be thinking something along the lines of what I usually think when there's some type of manual. Um, don't use the manual till something goes wrong. But uh, it is best to use a manual, so especially for this kind of stuff, programming CVs. So last time we went over momentum, and now here we're going to go speed tables. And the simple way is where I'm going to show you, and that's just, this video is just going to be the start, because um, I don't know about you, but sometimes there's an annoying humming sound that you get from a locomotive when you're uh, throttling it up, and some do not. And this video will help you guys fix that humming sound uh, the low buzz uh, it'll be a problem on some locomotives it is for this one and some it won't be so uh, let's get to it first off the CV for the starting voltage is CV02 and the rain they those range between 0 and 255 so um, 2 obviously is gonna be the lowest and 255 is going to be the highest. So, um, we'll, let's experiment around changing the CVs on this thing so that they um, do not make that humming sound as soon as you add, apply power to everything. So, uh, step one is uh, setting up the SD70 ACE again. And let's get 838 here. I disabled the momentum stuff on this. I set it all back to factory so it starts and stops really quick. Um, that way it'll just be easier for you guys to see what's going on here. So the problem here, let's see if you guys can hear it, is when I apply a certain amount of power, which I guess would be speed step one, there's a humming sound that comes from the locomotive. So I'll apply a little power here. I don't know if you hear that or not, but um, there's a humming sound coming from the locomotive, a low buzz, which I don't know if it's bad or not for the locomotive, but um, I'm gonna play it safe and assume it is bad, and we can change this here so that once you hit that first speed step, it does get moving. Um, like that so like I said it's CV2 and the they range from 2 to 255 so we will play around here with the different CV values for this if you do not know how to change CVs check out my video on um, changing CVs with the Digitrax and uh, if you have the Zephyr it should help you a lot if you have some other system hopefully it'll help you but uh, probably won't as much but anyway, let's uh, get started here. So, let's go to program, ops mode, CV, 0, 2, press CV again, and since 2 is making a buzzing sound, we will try 10. And press the right button, and press power, and turn the power back on. And I'll take my SD70 ACE off there. And now, that'll adjust the um, power given to the locomotive once we hit that first speed step. 
So, uh, forward and back will increase power. And there's still a buzzing sound coming from it once it's uh, moving there. So let's try um, 15. So program CV02, CV15, right. And now we will press um, exit, power off, power on. And um, let's see how that does. So back it up. What we're looking here is for as soon as that um, you hit the speed, that first little step of speed, we want it to be moving at a, I mean, an acceptable slow speed. But uh, let's take it up to 20 here and see what we get. So you want to, as soon as now this fell one time and a little controller here got a little messed up. But basically, we want to get it so that as soon as it starts giving the locomotive power, um, that it starts moving. So, let's see, we were at 15 last time, so 0, 2, CV, let's give it 20 here, right, oh, someone wrong, alright, program, ops, CV, 0, 2, CV, 2, 0, right, power off, power on, and now let's see what happens with the locomotive here once we give it some power, so, and that's a lot better, it hits that first step of power and it's, uh, it's off already. It might be making the buzz sound, but um, I think that's just because of the low uh, speed of the motor. But that is the um, starting point of the, the like the train thing, and it's moving. So that's it. Um, for those of you out there that have locomotives that you have to apply half power till the thing finally starts moving. Uh, this should help you and I guess that'll be it for the video so thanks for watching and be sure to check out more videos